Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh. Ready? This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in Shoreditch. It was a press conference for Johnny Fisher versus Alan Babich at the Copper Bosch. That was tasty. Absolutely love it. Joe, this has got your name written all over it Saturday night, hasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. This is the kind of shit that you live for. England against Switzerland in the Copper Bosch and then Johnny Fisher against Alan Babbage. I'm going to ask, you're going to be like a pig in shit, you are. Walking around with your pint, watching the game. Sure, you'll have a little bit of England on. Maybe a Stony or something. This is Joe Pugh's ideal Saturday night. You aren't wrong at all. I know a lot of people come in and uh, I might have to just go in with the fans yeah. for the fight. But yeah, excellent. Alan Babic back to his savage yes. best and that's what we love at a press conference, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we're switching it up a bit at the press. I want to start with the main event today and they really stole the show. I mean, you know, Johnny's spoke well, but Alan Babic is one of a kind, mate. I mean, in the ring and out of the ring, he's fantastic at press conferences. And you know that a lot of people talk shit and don't actually do what they say they're going to do. Alan's always done it, and he'll do it again on Saturday night. He will come out, as he said, he will sit on his chest, and he will fight him till he can't fight no more. Now, that might be being knocked out, or that might be having the tank emptied, or whatever it's going to be, but he will do all the things he said. And I think this fight could be over inside three rounds. If it's not, it's going to be a very, very long night for Johnny Fisher, because Babich makes you fight at an electric pace, and, and it's a very dangerous step up for Johnny Fisher, who I believe now is not just the biggest ticket sailor in the country, he's one of the best prospects in, in heavyweight boxing. And we'll find out how good he is on Saturday night. Go back three, three and a half years when you originally signed Johnny Fisher. I think everyone knew the tickets he sold, yeah. his family. But did you think he'd be at a stage this quick where he's in proper fights headlining? No, I think when Johnny turned pro... He had no amateur pedigree, so it was difficult to say this kid's going to go on and be a top heavyweight. I thought he had a lot of attributes that were important as a heavyweight. He had speed, he could punch hard, he had a good engine, and he had a great chin. Right. So if you've got natural ability and a good training team and you learn on the job, you, you know, you've got a high ceiling. I always felt when he turned pro he could win Southern Area title, an English title. Now I honestly believe that if he doesn't win British titles and probably European titles, I think he's underperformed. I can't tell you right now this kid's going to be a world-class heavyweight, but I believe he can be. But these are the kind of nights that will show us where he's at. You know, I believe he can beat Fabio Wardley. I believe he can beat Fraser Clark. You know, David Adelaide is a great fight after this. So we're doing six, 7,000 in the copper box for Alan Babich. What happens if he wins and fights Adelaide? You know, we'll do eight, 9,000. Then you fight Fabio or Fraser, you sell out the O2. So Johnny Fisher has a huge ceiling, and I, I really believe... He's a serious handful. I was speaking to a few of the guys from S-Jam and they said they really want to make the Copper Box, Copper Bosch, mm. a home for Johnny Fisher. So, what is it, 20 minutes on the yeah, train yeah, from yeah. Romford, you can really build a fortress yeah. here. Yeah, and you know, Saturday's going to be a special night. It's a really good undercard as well, but with the football and everything, I think people that go are going to have a tremendous time. And if they have a tremendous time, they're going to come back. And that support continues to grow, it continues to swell. And once Johnny... Don't forget, these are, these are Romford Ball fans. Once that becomes the wider casual audience as well of a real good heavyweight, that fan base is going to continue to grow. And it's exciting times. And you know, it's a very important night for him. Go back to yesterday. Sam Jones, Evans Tobler. Yeah. Took a bit of a while to get going. You stirred the pot a bit. I think so did we. But when it got going, it got nice and tasty. And that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, look, you know, Alan and Johnny up there, we want, we want fighters to engage with each other. It doesn't have to be disrespectful or offensive, but we want you to talk the talk. And Evans and Sam Jones do that very well. And pro-grade Taylor, sorry, pro-grade Catchell is a great fight. Um, then those guys are never going to talk too much shit. They don't need to. Two of the best guys at 140. It's one of the best fights that can be made. And August 24th is going to be a brilliant night at what is a stunning arena. You know, you saw it yesterday. So looking forward to just an unbelievable schedule, unrivaled. Have you seen Simon Jordan's comments on Joshua Dubois? No. He has said that if Dubois detonates, it could give Joshua PTSD as he hasn't been hit properly in his last four fights. I mean, the aim is to not get hit properly in your last four fights. But his last four fights were Hellenius, Franklin, um, Walin, and, and Nganu. He got hit quite a lot against Franklin. 
to be honest with you. He got hit a little bit against Hellenius. Didn't get hit much against Walling because he was faultless. Um, and didn't get hit against Ngannou, really. So that's because Anthony Joshua is a very good all-round fighter. Defensively, he's very good. His feet are excellent. Now, you're not going to see him turn up like Philip Hergovic and just stand in the middle of the ring and just swing him right hands back and forward. People keep saying this fight's a shootout. AJ, top sniper. I mean, you don't want to shoot out with AJ because he's too sharp and too accurate. But Dubois is very heavy-handed. You know, I mean, we can't take what Simon Jordan says about boxing too seriously. Like, he's brilliant at what he does. You know, I think he's so entertaining. But in terms of strategizing and analyzing fights, I mean, you know... I think you got more credibility, Joe, in all due respect. Not about that. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but he's, of course, entitled to his opinion. That's his job. And I think Dubois is dangerous in the fight. He's a big, big puncher. But I just don't think he's good enough to beat Anthony. If Carl Frotch rung you up and said, I want to sort this out with Anthony Joshua, you went to Anthony Joshua, what would happen? Well, firstly, I, w- I wouldn't even get involved because, like, it's not, it's not that deep. Like, I know, obviously, everyone's asking me about it and stuff Has like that. Has it been that. blown out of proportion a bit? Yeah, of course. That's what happens. I mean, but Frotch said something. AJ said something back. Whatever. Like, and Carl's very stubborn. And, you know, AJ... Like, but it's not... By doing that, sometimes you just make it even worse or blow it further than what it needs to be. They're not... They're not they don't agree with what each other said. No, I mean, move on. Two great fighters. Two massive assets to British boxing. Hopefully it evaporates soon. Have you spoke to AJ about it? No, never. Okay, Canelo, have you had conversations with him? I saw reports maybe 24 hours ago, Belanga or Charlo next? Yeah, I mean, a couple of of conversations. Obviously, Edgar Belanga is is a matchroom fighter under contract with us, and we're pushing that fight. We'd love to make it. I think it's the best fight for Canelo Alvarez. I think it's a much better fight than Charlo. Charlo's been inactive. I really don't feel like that's a competitive fight or he's in any kind of form to take that fight hopefully they'll choose Edgar Belanga and um, I believe Puerto Rico against Mexico that's the fight to make is that a matchroom card if that happens no we'll be I mean we have Edgar yeah. Belanga so yeah. uh, you know, I think depending on where that fight lands obviously he has another fight under his contract with PBC but happy to be involved and, and push our man and, and help the promotion and you know I'd love to see Edgar get the opportunity have you spoke to Deontay Wilder at all since June 1st? Only after the fight, yeah, but not, not since then. Won't work with him again? Yeah, I, I don't think he'll fight again, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, I don't think he needs to fight. I don't think if he's going to fight at that level, he would necessarily want to fight. But, you know, I'd obviously have a conversation. We got on well, and I wish him all the best. I want to talk to you about Bam. Just after that performance last week, come out top five pound for pound, firmly cemented, age 24, can you only see him kind of toppling that and become pound for pound king he has a huge ceiling huge ceiling he's just getting started man you know top five pound for pound I think he's going to go on and and just be a you know a real legend of the sport last one Shakur Stevenson free agent after this fight at the weekend is there fights to be made with him yeah for sure I, I think you know talk about another pound for pound star got to do a job on him though promotionally He's not the star that he should be. So see how he gets on this weekend, and I'm sure we'll have conversations. When you look at the jobs that you're going to do for Boots, what, what may still do with Matias, maybe, bam, there you go, Shakur, if something happens there. Does it frustrate you that never got to work with Javonta and the way that all played out? Listen, I, I believe in the job that we do. I believe in our company. Javonta's already a big star. Yeah. If he was with us, it'd be astronomical. But... You know, he's still doing a good job and good luck to him. Do you think you'll ever have that conversation with him? Probably not. Okay, Eddie, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. I will see you tomorrow. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. <laughs> 